All right, what we're going to have a look at today is the Hornady powder powder dispenser. Um, haven't seen too much on these, a couple of reviews. Uh, I have had some experience with the RCBS Charge Master, um, and I thought I'd show you this guy. I got it from Sinclair. Uh, they shipped up here to Canada to me, and uh, it seems to work good. I've got no major complaints with it. It does go over a little bit, but I use some weird powder. So, uh, What I have in there right now is Reloader 25. That's what I bought it for. I'm loading 338 Lapua Magnum and uh, weighing out those 90 grain charges kind of got old. Um, I'm going to show you what I do when I first turn it on every time. So generally I'll, I'll let it warm up for a minute or two when I turn it on. Um, I won't for this video of course. It doesn't really seem to change things too much. But anyways I'll turn it on and I'll calibrate every time. It beeps, lets you know it's on. I'll take the uh, wind thing off, take that off, hit the tube so I get some powder on there, um, <laughs> and I'll hit calibrate. So it'll say zero, there's nothing on there, so I'll hit calibrate. Of course, some powder will fall out because uh, I'm manhandling this thing. But it checked out because the powder bounced off. Now, I'll put on my 10 gram weight, hit calibrate. It checked out, so take the 10 gram off, put on the 50, try not to hit the powder tube. It passed, so everything passed. Um, take this off, put my powder tray back in there, and uh, zero it. So now she's all zeroed, and I guess you can't see the screen, but yeah, anyways, it's all zeroed up. And basically all you do is you enter your powder charge. Uh, it takes a couple throws to really learn it, but let's just go with my 90. This, this powder seems quite tricky to dispense. Um, I've got it on normal here. Normally I actually throw it on slow, so we'll see if it works or not. Um, basically the slow normal fast speeds is just how much time it slows down before the actual charge is thrown. So we'll see if this works. I should have changed that beforehand. So there we go, through exact 90, uh, 90 grain throw, three or whatever. You take it off, it's set up in auto way. right now. So I'd go, I'd pour it in my shell and come back, set this down, and it'll re zero, re zeroes the scale, and uh, pours another one. It, it seems to pour pretty quick. It, it actually gets quicker after, you know, five, six throws. Um, what I do, if it does go over 0.1, I, I'm fairly anal about my loads. If it uh, does ever go over 0.1 or 0.3 or whatever, since I am throwing bigger loads, we'll, uh, what I do, it's ex exactly 90. Um, but let's, let's tap this so a bit more goes in there. So now we got 92 in there. That would have been too much. It would have, it would have beat differently. And uh, it, it's a loud long beep. And then what I'd do is I'd come back and hit enter. We'll pretend I did, and I'll show 90.3 again. And then I'll just take it a little bit out until I get 90 exactly. And uh, I'm ready to go instead of throwing the whole thing again. It doesn't happen very often. As you can see here, I'm on the faster speed than I normally do it, and it threw 90 grain charges exactly. Um, I'll clear it, clear the load. Uh, pour the powder back in. I'll put this pan here. And then I just move it to the edge of my table. I wonder if you can see that in the camera. Yeah, a little. And to empty out the powder, it's just as simple as I got an old powder tube here. And you just twist this, and it drains out. You got a little paintbrush you clean around the inside with. But it's nothing, uh, it's nothing hard to do, that's for sure. Anyways, that's the Hornady powder store. It seems to work really well. I've got no complaints with it. The price was good. Um, it, it works on a great deal of powders that I've tried anyway. Uh, it works on Reloader 25, Varget, uh, 4891, and 4891, I think that's it. I don't know. All the extruded powders it seems to work good on. Uh, some of my pistol powders it works good on clays, Winchester 231. Um, it, the ball powders, for me, they bounce out of the pan. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I'm sure you could figure out some way so they don't bounce out of the pan, but I don't have any need. Uh, my powder stores measure the ball powders accurate enough for the guns I shoot them in. 
But anyways, yeah, so it's a great thing. I'd, I'd recommend buying it. I've had no problems with it. Works great. So there's a, another quick review for, for you.